Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today we are going to learn about the onboard RTC of ESP32. How we can simulate it out in our online VOCV simulator and how we can read the real time. So first we need to go to Google and here we will write VOCV. VOCV is an online simulator in which you can run a lot of circuits and uh, can program a lot of microcontrollers as well. So okay now we can click on VOCV and here we will go for our ESP32 microcontroller. It can take a bit of time because it is an online simulator. So obviously your net speed can limit its opening or can make a little bit delay. Now we have to wait until it used to open. So wait for a moment. Okay, now our project has been opened. Now we can see that on right hand side we have our circuit window and on left hand side we have our programming window. We are not going to include any sort, any sort of component with ESP32 because we are just going for onboard RTC that is real time clock. So first of all we must know that we have to import one library that is ESP32 time.h. So we will write hash include ESP32 time.h. Now this is our library and you also need to go to library manager, click on this addition sign and here we will write ESP32 time, okay? So this is our library. Okay. So you also need to include this library inside VOCV. So this is our library. And why we are supposed to use this one? Because we want to fetch certain functions. We want to use certain functions. And obviously the functions must be defined inside our library files. Okay. After this has been done, we have to declare one object. We need to write ESP32 time. ESP32 time. So this is our main class. And if you want to fetch functions from this main class, we have to write or we have to define one object one object in here we can write rtc underscore one or even you can write rtc underscore zero but why we are going to use it because if you want to fetch certain functions that lies within this esp32 time class okay uh, we are just supposed to make uh, or declare one object and this object will actually fetch certain functions from within ESP32 time class. So, okay, so this is our object. We can even, even write any other name instead of RTC underscore zero. Object name can be of your own choice. And why we have written this 3600 inside these brackets? Because 3600 represents a one hour Okay, because it is uh, because we have to initialize our clock. So we have to give a certain certain number of seconds. Okay, because uh, we are just we will just uh, going for green, which mean time plus one. 
so that is why because it is green which mean time plus one which is defined inside this esp32 time class so that is why and plus one means that plus one hour so that is why we have written 3600 seconds because 3600 seconds uh, means one hour so that is why we have written this like okay now we have uh, described our object defined our object now we will go in wire setup and here seal dot begin 11 5 2 0 0 what is meant by this that uh, we we have initialized our serial uh, communication so with the help of this line simply uh, we can read data we can send data on serial monitor we can even observe the data on serial monitor so this line of code is very necessary 11.5200.0.0 is the baud rate used in the serial communication now we will go and we will write our object that is rtc underscore zero and now we will fetch one function that is r set time rtc underscore zero this is object and this is uh, operator that is dot operator and set time is the function and uh, without this object we cannot call this function so best is to create an object and then call this function dot set time and if it is function obviously it has certain parameters we have we have to give so we are going to set our time so first we need to write seconds so seconds means that if you want to start from 30 seconds means that 30 seconds and now time is here is 10 10 oh sorry it is yes so it is 30 and then we we have to write the minutes okay and minutes are here it is 45 and hours are here 10 that is 10 p.m 10 45 p.m okay and now after this is we will define date so date is today date is second okay and uh, what is the month month is eighth and what is the year it is 2023 so this is minute uh, sorry seconds minutes hours okay and this is our date this is our month and this is our year so so we have to give all these parameters inside actually we are passing these parameters to this function and this function will help us to set the time from this thing so comma 2023 so now our time is set now we will go to the wide loop and here we will write serial dot print ln rtc sorry rtc underscore zero dot get time now again one is set time function and one is get time function and the same object here we we have defined rtc underscore zero we have defined this object that is rtc underscore zero dot get time and this object will actually fetch time for us okay and uh, in which format we have to write in the parameters no now okay and here we will write okay double quotes okay and here we will write percent a this is this is the first uh, okay we, we will go for percent we will start from percent s that is percent seconds and then we will write colon because we will display seconds here so that is why we, um, this percent sign is for actually okay defining the data type that what sort of format we want okay so it is second so we will we have written here percent s then we will write 
परसेंट एम दैट इज मिनट्स परसेंट एम एंड देन वी विल राइट ओके सो ओके नो नीड टू राइट दिस कॉमा सो वी विल राइट कॉल ऑन परसेंट एच परसेंट एच ओके सो आवर मिनट्स एंड सेकेंड्स and here after second we need to write comma and here we will write percent y percent y and uh, remove the double quotes from this and here put it here percent y percent d percent d percent y percent h percent m and percent s so percent d percent p okay so now this is date this is particular date okay this is year date this is percent b is actually month okay percent b actually denotes month and percent a denotes p day okay that either it is tuesday or monday or anything so it is percent a denotes day percent b denotes uh, a month and percent d denotes date that either it is 17 or 18 or 31st or like this and percent y means that it is year it is year so 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 this first uh, uh, rtc underscore zero dot get time will fetch all the data and then Uh, seal dot print ln function will display all the data in this format on the serial monitor and here we will write delay of 1000 okay now we will run it out okay so it can take a bit of time because it is an online simulator okay now you can see it is wednesday August two, twenty twenty-three, and eleven forty-five. Colon thirty-four. We can even give certain, certain bracket, a certain spaces like this. Sorry, percent D. Oh yes, percent D, percent Y, and like this. And now you will see that we will get the space in between these three things. That is time, date, and day. Okay, so it is Wednesday, August two, twenty twenty-three. Okay, so so in this way you can use the onboard RTC of ESP thirty-two. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.